Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this Gen 1 Yamaha MT-07. Um, it's a parallel twin uh, that put out just over 70 brake horsepower uh, with the Yamaha cross-plane crank which is infamous on the Yamaha R1. Uh, the MT-07 is a really popular bike for first-time riders. Lots of riding schools use these bikes. Uh, they're really pliant low down, plenty of torque um, and plenty of top-end power when you're ready for it. This particular one, as I said, is a first generation bike. Uh, it's a 2015, it's covered just over 17,000 miles and it's finished in a metallic white. Um, so starting at the front, 17 inch wheels. This particular bike is fitted with Bridgestone tires and it's got ABS, as you can see, which was an option on this particular model. Um, Non-radial four pot calipers with twin discs, so plenty of stopping power. Um, and as you can see, uh, it's all really clean and tidy at the front here. So, um, just behind the front mud guard, you'll probably notice that there is a radiator guard. It's a good modification to have on these bikes. Um, it's got a relatively short uh, front mud guard, so it does have a tendency to flick all the dirt up the radiator. Um, so a nice modification to have. And pretty much other than that, it's a totally standard bike. Got the original exhaust system on it, as you can see, which is in good condition. Um, the bike overall cosmetically is clean and tidy. There's a few signs of wear and tear that I'll try and point out as we go. Um, but no major, you know, accident marks, drop marks, that sort of thing, dents, dings. Um, it's purely just cosmetic. As I said, the bike is finished in a metallic white, um, as you can see. Uh, totally standard back here. It's not been messed around with at all. It's quite a good bike for pillion use. So if this is going to be your first bike and you're going to be taking uh, someone out on the back regularly, it's quite a, a nice bike to do it on. Uh, quite a nice drop from the seat to the pegs, so quite comfortable over longer distances. Again, the back end is fitted with a, a Bridgestone rear to match the front, um, and it does have a slightly smaller tail tidy on it as well, so it does have a, a slightly nicer back end than perhaps the standard bike would have come with. Bodywork wise, there's no major marks on this side to speak of. Um, you know, it, it seems like it's been pretty well looked after. Got the standard mirrors and stuff like that. Lots of people will put aftermarket mirrors on, barrow mirrors, that sort of thing. Uh, it does have a fly screen on the front. There's a few stone chips on it. Obviously, it's uh, it's over sort of eight years old now, so you know there's going to be some wear and tear marks on there. Camera doesn't really do it justice. There's a tiny little stone chip just here on the front mud guard. Um, again, just minor cosmetic wear and tear. And there's a few little marks, if you can see it in that light, just on the air intake panel here, uh, possibly from a tank bag or something like that. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like it's been dropped. But again, on this side. Clean and tidy, no major paint issues, uh, no major drops, bangs or scrapes. Chain sprockets, brakes, tyres, all the consumable bits get checked on the bikes before they go out. Uh, obviously, if we find anything, it just gets done as a matter of course before the bike goes out. So it'll be ready to ride when you receive it. The chain and sprockets on this bike look pretty good. They look relatively recent. Don't expect to find a great deal with this bike um, when we check it over anyway. Comes with both the keys, uh, all the original documents. <clears throat> one of the uh, the real sort of telltale differences between the Gen 1 and the 2 is the seat. So you've got this, it's quite nice moulded actually at the front. It just, um, you know, props you up against the tank when you're riding. Uh, you can see the bike is data tagged as well. And you've got this panel here just to protect the tank when you're leaning over it. So you've got a fully digital dash on this bike. <clears throat> so you've got your rev counter that goes across the bottom and your speed. Uh, the mileage, 17,813 miles. Got a fuel gauge here, which is somewhat of a novelty on a lot of bikes. Uh, and you get a gear position indicator just here as well. Let's give her a start up here. quiet i mean it's uh, it's got that cross plane crank engine in it and when you do fit an aftermarket exhaust these they do sound absolutely epic so if you're after any aftermarket parts let us know because we do offer, offer free fitting um there's lots of aftermarket exhaust options for this so if that's something that you're interested in let us know 
Uh, the bike will come with a three month warranty. It will come with free delivery to England and Wales. We do offer delivery to Scotland for a small charge. We can offer finance and parts exchange in if those are things that you're interested in or if you've got any general questions about the bike, please feel free to reach out. We've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the socials. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got or drop into the showroom and try the bike on for size. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.